Caspa Mega Pam, the Vici J15 Uphold and new all-time high. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Chris and today we're about to do our daily update about what happened in the Caspa price since yesterday. Also, we will see the rank, the market cap, the hash rate, the categories and the top 10 addresses. Then we're going to move into the technical side of Caspa and also into the technical side of Bitcoin and we will close the video with a news of Uphold that are about to be announced from hour to hour. Then we will see the Da Vinci J15 that is one of the biggest and oldest OG in the Bitcoin. Right now he announced as his involvement in Caspa. And lastly, I would like to speak for the current situation of Caspa and also for a couple things that maybe some people misunderstood. So if you're interested to know all of these things, all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video. And before we continue, I would like to clarify you that I'm not a financial advisor. Whatever that you're going to see in this video is my own personal opinion, my personal approach. Always do your own research before any kind of financial investment. And guys, if you're a Caspa enthusiast, Caspa holder or Caspa investor, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because daily I upload Caspa videos where I try to educate you, inform you with the latest news around Caspa and around the crypto space. So a subscription to my channel is going to be very beneficial for you. And without losing more time, let's get back to the video and start with the Casper price that today, guys, as you can clearly see, we are up 23.6% since yesterday, the last 24 hours. And more precisely, we are above 10 cents area. And that's insane. We officially reached the 10 cents. And actually, before a couple minutes, we were uh, above 11 cents. That's too insane. Okay, that's incredible. And actually, the formula that we have right now is unbelievable, unreal. You know, I'm one of the most bullish guys in Caspa. You know that I'm well known for my bullish predictions, even in the short term and even in the long term. I told you that Caspa can be easy under top 20, under top 15 before the Bitcoin halving. I told you that. And also I told you that I believe that Caspa uh, will have $5 minimum by 2025 uh, $10 is my conservative price prediction and I have bullish case scenario 300 billion market cap within 500 billion market cap by the next bull run and this kind of pump that's happening now in November in the middle days of November it's too much it's too soon Okay, this is why I actually tried to warn a couple people yesterday and my, actually my previous videos that guys be very careful because right now the FOMO is unreal and that starts scaring me. Okay, right now my portfolio is in, in explosion like I cannot believe how big profit I did because you know we bought uh, not only me, uh, also in my Patreon group, we bought every single bottom that Caspa did. Uh, we bought at 0 0.015 cents. We bought at two cents. Uh, the third signal with average price at 0 0.035 cents. We bought at 0 0.041 cents. And as you can also see, we always buy the bottom. We never actually get FOMO in the tops. We get FOMO in the bottoms. And this current situation, guys, it starts scaring me. And for the reason that I got scared for that is not for me, because personally, if Caspa can go to 50 cents, that's gonna only affect me because I have already packed my bags really heavy too early. Okay, that's gonna only affect me in the good way. Uh, but there are people right now that they are in a situation that they're putting life savings in Caspa, like they're going all in because they have FOMO. And these people are people that are completely inexperienced. And for these people, I created the last videos. Uh, these people right now maybe go all in in these prices above 10 cents, above 9 cents. They're going all in. And if Caspa will do a retracement from here, like 30% down, like 30% down, it's going to get you back to 7 cents. Okay. Uh, it's healthy correction if it's going to happen. If we're going to see 30% down from here or even lower, 40%, these guys are going to be in a sock. Okay. These guys are going to be in a sock. And then I did a comment in my Twitter and I would like to read you for, for what people I was talking about the last couple of days. And I was actually warning them, guys, be very careful. If you would like to buy the top, just know what you are doing. Okay. Let's read. 
I told you here, people are so emotionally attached to their investments because they are too inexperienced. Most of these people didn't buy Caspa below 5 cents because it was too expensive and bought with FOMO above 9 cents and now they are shaking. I tried to warn them a couple times that look, if you buy now in the top above 9 cents, there is a probability to see a correction. If you are okay with that, due to your long-term hold, that's fine. The gains are still insane because we are still early and that's true guys, okay? But the thing that pissed me off with those people is that they don't even take the responsibility for their own actions. They bought the top and that means that there is a probability of retracement when you buy the top. These people are the same people who if Caspa drops 0.065 cents or 7 cents will sell and start thudding around because they are too emotionally attached to their investments and Caspa guys is not like right now other cryptos. In Caspa we speak like Caspa is going to replace Ethereum, Caspa is going to flip like Bitcoin. Right now these people hear these scenarios and these people right now maybe they're gonna be all in like they're gonna put their life savings in the top and they're gonna be so emotionally attached to their investment that if Caspa gonna do 40% correction now they're gonna be freak out okay and and like 90%, these inexperienced people will sell and will start the fad all over again. This happened in the past in Caspa and also in my experience. I have been seeing that all over again in repeat. So this is why I tried to warn you in my last couple of videos for this specific category of people. Okay, do not buy the top with an amount that you cannot handle. If you buy the top, congratulations, we are still early. I told you that, but you must to know what you are investing and how big space you're going to have for growth from the point you buy. If you know that, it's totally fine. Congratulations. I say that. People told me that, Chris, I bought the top and I don't care for the short term. I look for the long term, so I don't care. That's correct. That's a correct mindset. Okay. I speak for the people that if they're going to see a correction, they're going to freak out and they're going to start saying that Caspar was actually scam, I was wrong, I did big mistake and all of these things. We saw that in this second biggest rally, okay? We saw that. People, when actually Caspar dropped three cents, I was calling you that Caspar from here will explode and these people actually were selling Caspar at three cents to buy lower because they bought the top here. Anyway, that's another big story. Uh, so let's speak for the current situation because Caspar right now is above 10 cents. It's incredible. I told you everything can happen. For me, it was going to be more healthy to see a correction. Right now, this situation tends to me that we are moving into a uh, big whale manipulation with insane FOMO. So uh, the people who don't know what they are doing are about to get wrecked because they're too emotionally attached to this current situation. Uh, personally, I'm in crazy profits. Almost the world wealth net is in crazy profits because almost the world wealth net bought the bottoms. Okay. And uh, right now, guys, Casper is standing in rank 32. It's like unbelievable. We are about to be under top 30 uh, even before uh, this year end. It's crazy. And as you can clearly see, we are back to above. 2 billion market cap, more precisely 2.3 billion market cap. And right now the situation uh, is going to be even more difficult to see more and more uh, significant PAMs because the market cap uh, needs to be in crazy levels. Okay, to be like in 20 cents now, we need 4.6 billion market cap. Okay, to see a double from here, for example, we will need actually to double the market cap with the current existed uh, total supply. So as you understand, the situation of Caspar right now is going in a situation that we need institutional investors to come into the game, big wells, big players to see rapid growth, okay, rapid explosion. And as I told you, from my experience, when I see institutional investors do the entry in a crypto or whatever, they actually manipulate a lot the market. So I try to protect you, to prepare you. Okay, my current situation, for those who don't know, as I said in the past, lots of times, personally, my strategy is I do daily dollar cost average with cold emotions. Since I bought the first signal of Caspa, I do dollar daily cost average every day. I don't care uh, in what price actually my purchase is happening because I view 
Caspa more than just a crypto investment. Caspa is money. It's like I save my money. No matter what the price I buy, I will have a price appreciation. And that's a small bag that I set for uh, the every 30 days, every four to five days. I have a specific time each day that I buy Caspa, but my big bag, I hold it to buy the opportunities. And this Caspa above 0.085 cents, above 9 cents, above 10 cents is not an opportunity, guys. Okay, for me, it's not an opportunity. I'm waiting to see the opportunity. I buy when there is fad in the space, not FOMO. When there is fad in the space, like we saw here, the war fad and the double top that people were calling, okay, to remind you, the double top here and the war fad, uh, I bought. Uh, to remind you back then when we had this head and shoulder pattern and everyone was talking that Casper will collapse to one cent, two cents, I bought. Okay, this is where are my buy signals. If you don't want to actually learn a couple important principles as an investor and to see how pros actually buy, uh, I cannot help you more. Okay, I tell you the truth. This is not actually an opportunity to buy at these areas. And if you have no Casper bag uh, at this moment and you like to have some positions, guys, in my Patreon, we have a couple guys that uh, were in your position. I told them how to do it, how you should actually pack and start building some base. But also at the same time, you must hold a bag of cash not with K, with C. Don't throw everything like here in the top. And actually, if Caspa drops, you won't have capital to buy the drop, the correction, the opportunity. Okay, I always hold a bag ready to go for the opportunity. I even prefer to drop my bag into an altcoin right now that has that is ready to go with good fundamentals, um, and is like in fat situation rather to buy caspa in these levels it's insane okay this is my approach of the current situation and let's move after all of this into the hash rate that as you can clearly see also today hash rate is in a new 88 uh we saw new 88 in price and new 88 in hash rate caspa is going like insane 63.39 petahash per second 58.45 petahash per second is the current hash rate and also 75 percent of the total supply is out really really bullish the caspa protection is growing and as you can clearly see from the hash rate even now, I told you the last days of November, early days of December, we will see more increasement, more rapid increase in the hash rate. And I believe approximately the middle days of December, we can potentially see guys, hash rate, Caspa hash rate, highest hash rate above three digits, 100 petahas per second. Incredible. Okay, ideal for the protection of the network and ideal to welcome furthermore adoption with the ultimate protection. And don't forget that in 21 days, we're going to have the next halving. And instead of price to drop, price is like increasing like crazy, like there is no tomorrow. Crazy things crazy things the vibes that we got right now in caspa are unbelievable and the next reward is going to be 147 caspa coins and let's go guys straight into the addresses as you can clearly see we saw an increase approximately a thousand more addresses since yesterday uh we used to see like in the previous days 300 within 600 today um we got back to above 1000 addresses so that's pretty bullish as you can clearly see uh, more precisely, these thousand addresses were like 24 uh, crabs, more addresses, 252 octopus addresses, 206 fish, that's insane, uh, 39 dolphins, uh, 4 sharks, we lost 3 whales and we gained 1 handbag. So, pretty interesting how the distribution of the wallets happened and guys, from the top 10 addresses, Get.io lost approximately um, 9 million of this Caspa uh, balance, of this Caspa wallet that they got. Uh, Mix actually lost a couple, uh, 10 to 20 million more. Uh, also, guys, I'm surprised, but look this fourth address. For the first time after uh, the big rally of Caspa that he had big accumulation, right now for the first time it had a decreasement. Who knows, maybe sold some Caspa for profits. Who knows, okay. This wallet had approximately 388 million. And right now we see like 40 million decreasement. 
So maybe they took profits, who knows? And KuCoin, as you can clearly see, 855 million plus the address that they, that they got in the fifth page uh, with another 41 million, they got approximately 900 million Caspa coins. Very close to become Aquaman in the Aquaman category. Okay, so I believe KuCoin, if it's gonna keep this aggressive accumulation, it's going to become Aquaman, okay? I believe it's a matter of time to be there. That's why they are buying like crazy. So I won't be surprised if I see KuCoin as top tier exchange by 2025, 2026. Because this wallet, this KuCoin wallet is about to worth multi-billions in the future. So that's insane. Anyway, let's go straight into the technical side of Casper because right now, guys, the things are going like crazy unbelievable uh you can clearly see that we broke here uh this kind of resistance it wasn't a clear resistance it was like an example resistance of what maybe is going to form okay i told you that this was looking like uh, a downturn movement information so it seems that actually after one two three four days of decreasement in the price day by day suddenly we saw massive buying pressure especially yesterday, we went back for a retest of this uh, resistance and the new candle opened with massive, massive buying pressure. Uh, something that is, as I told you, looking really scary for me, okay? It started to looking scary for me. And uh, the highest that we touched here it was 11 cents, actually precisely, okay? Crazy, crazy, uh, crazy Pam, okay, this Pam was insanely big. Like the last 48 hours, we saw 40% Pam, guys. That's insane. This is really something that uh, it's looking unreal. Like we see that uh, in our dreams, uh, especially in the current situation, because also Bitcoin right now is going like with this bearish divergence. Okay, it's not bullish. It's not like we see Bitcoin above $40,000. And that's why all... Uh, crypto market is pumping, Casper is pumping by itself. That's why it's starting rank 32 now because the rest of crypto market is stable. Uh, so guys, you're gonna ask me, Chris, why this happening? Why we saw this kind of pump? Guys, maybe it's another FOMO rally uh, because couple news, uh, we will show that by the end for uh, the news are from Uphold and from uh, DaVinci J15, I would like to tell you guys, just to know if you are willing to buy the top nine cents, 10 cents, just to know, you must understand what you are investing. And you must admit that uh, and feel okay that if we're gonna see 30, 40% correction, you won't be freaked out, okay? This is the most specific thing. This is what I, I tried to warn you plenty times. Uh, so, it's your decision by the end of the day if you would like to buy the top. The pros, and I can guarantee you for that, that never buy the tops, okay? I'm waiting to see the opportunity and mark my words, the opportunity will emerge and I will buy at that time. I never buy when everyone buys. I buy when there is fear in the market, blood in the streets, when everyone says, oh, maybe Caspa will collapse. This is when you should buy. And that's from, from my experience. I will never ever buy the top, no matter if it's gonna be Caspa, Bitcoin, whatever. Never ever I will buy the tops. I will buy only the opportunities because I would like always to have money ready to go to exploit the opportunity. Otherwise, it's not an opportunity, okay? So uh, this is the current situation. Caspa actually, as you can clearly see, is in overbought position again, 80 RSI points. Uh, we are back in this uh, 80 RSI points. We saw a decreasement back and under of 70 RSI points. Right now we are back uh, to 80 RSI points. So let's see how we're going to close this RSI daily situation. Okay, let's see if we're going to see like a downturn movement like that. We will evaluate again uh, this RSI situation the next coming days. Uh, but I would like to tell you guys that you must know what you are doing and uh, be very careful for a correction. A potential correction, 30%, 40% down, is a likely scenario that can happen, okay? From here to see 30, 40% down, it can actually get the price of Caspa uh, really, really low, okay? From 0 0.065 cents to 7 cents. And for the people who ask me, Chris, can this happen? Absolutely, it can happen, 
Okay, because as I told you, the more wells, the more institutional investors come into a crypto, the more manipulation they can handle. Okay, they play with big money and institutions actually are stronger than retail investors. For always remember that. But seriously, I don't care. I just follow my strategy. It's a win-win strategy. I do daily dollar cost average, daily and specific time. And when I see the opportunity, I buy massively big bags. Okay. And this is how I move. Only in the opportunities, I, I increase with significant amount my bags. Otherwise, I keep my DCA and, and I join my profits if the price is pabbing. And let's go guys straight into the Bitcoin technical side because as you can clearly see, Bitcoin uh, is moving to a bearish divergence. We saw lower low into uh, the RSI and higher high from a price uh, perspective of Bitcoin. And since I told you that, uh, actually Bitcoin uh, did this kind of decrease in the price. Right now we are back to $36,000. I told you that there is a probability. I told you that from this $37,000 area, I told you that there is a probability to see a correction back to this $34,800. It seems that we are going there. Okay, it seems that we are going there. And actually today the candle was bullish. So let's see the next 10 hours how we're going to close this uh, daily candle. Obviously, we have probabilities to see a decrease and squeeze in the BTC price. I told you from here there are two scenarios. The first scenario is to see a bounce to $40,000, that's going to be really bullish for the short term, okay? But also, uh, the second scenario is to come back to this crucial $31,250 support line that this support line must be retested. It was previously in the bear market, I mean, very strong resistance. A couple times we test that and we found weakness and also it was previously uh, in the burn of 2021, it was a very strong actually support that since we broke that we entered into uh this bear market okay the, the bear market of 2022 2023 anyway this is the current situation guys of uh bitcoin 2 and let's go really fast into the news because look at this dr martin actually has an announcement that uphold uh, from time to time, maybe even right now that I do the video because I don't have actually a clear view about what's happening uh, while I'm doing a video. Guys, Uphold going to announce a big news for Caspa and most of us believe that it's going to be the withdrawals, okay? Uh, because Uphold at this moment uh, don't allow the people to withdraw from Uphold to cold storages. So Uphold maybe will announce as this news that the uphold users from now and then they will be able to withdraw uh, from the uphold to the cold storages so this is the next announcement that will knock your other sock of caspa that's pretty bullish okay that's pretty bullish because i know lots of people that got their caspa into the uphold people that uh, didn't have accessibility to buy in other exchanges and because they live in US and they bought from Uphold and actually had their Caspa frozen there and they were waiting for this news to come and actually maybe today we will see this kind of news and that's going to be really bullish for those people. And the most bullish situation here is that guys, we saw DaVinci J15 that is one of the oldest Bitcoin OG in the space actually referenced yesterday Caspa and actually uh, did a tweet here. A friend of mine said to look into Caspa and I said uh, in the comments, Da Vinci is time to create a video. Just buy one worth of Caspa, please, because Da Vinci J15 is, is well known for a video that he did in 2012. Just buy one worth of Bitcoin, please. And, and this is why I did this comment to him. And also, guys, a couple hours later, he actually uh, did another post and he actually say that, yeah, he was uh, the original guy in Telegram of uh, Caspa. And actually, in that way, he he says to us that he observes Caspa. Maybe he bought already Caspa. So that's really bullish if also this guy will start speaking around Caspa. As you understand, we are going in a very great way. 
you will see very soon guys bitcoin maxis flipping into caspa maxis and that's something for sure that's inevitable to happen because caspa is the best fundamental project that we have ever seen in the space so that's also from the news guys i hope you enjoy that also don't forget to check my patreon group because in my patreon group guys you will find the wealthnet tier and wealthnet is actually a disco group designed to help you build a proper crypto investing mindset in wealthnet is a crypto community where you will be able to hang out in the chats with multi-millionaires crypto youtubers crypto experts uh business owners Whatever you can imagine is inside in Wealthnet. Also in Wealthnet, guys, you will learn from experienced people who have already succeeded in the crypto field and now enjoy a wealth life. And also, guys, in Wealthnet, you will receive an investing guidance, how to avoid mistakes. You will learn also from the mistakes of the other members of the other elite crypto investors that uh, they did mistakes in the past, in the previous bull runs. So all together, uh, we are here to help you and to put you in the right path of the prosperity and also the live streams the private live streams guys started and i recommend you to uh join if you are looking for three to five videos of private live stream every single week so join now and you're gonna get benefit of that okay and also i would like to tell you that if you're looking for uh the lifetime to become like in the inner cycle of Wealthnet, send an email to wealthnetcrypto.gmail.com. You're going to have lots of more benefits there if you join through Lifetime and we would be happy to got you in the round table. And guys, for the people who ask me, Chris, where you store your Caspa? My recommendation, guys, is definitely cold storage. The best place to store your Caspa and your cryptos, the cold storage of my preference is Tajem Wallet. And with a discount code CryptoChris, you will have 10% off in your purchase if you click here. Uh, the Tadgem link, it's going to get you into the site. Up right in the corner, press Get Tadgem. It's going to put you here in this page. And I will recommend you to go for the three card set. It's way safer. You have one more option to lose a card rather than the two card set. If you lose one, you're going to have only one and you're going to have anxiety if you're going to lose that. It's over. Uh, that's why I recommend you the three card set. So with a promo code CryptoCris, you have this 10% off and you will sleep very well with ultimate safety in your crypto investment. And that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment. It means a lot to me and I will see you all in my next video. Until my next video, your boy Chris out. Bye.